Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm back with the Pro 4X here. Gonna show you guys just a little something that the truck can do. Some of you might know, some of you might not. It isn't specifically that only the Frontier has this option or a little hidden secret we'll call it, but it is something that comes in handy once in a while, especially with a shorter bed. So I'll flip you guys around, show you exactly what I'm talking about and maybe you'll be able to use it in the future. All right, so like I said, we are working with a 2023 Frontier Pro 4X here. It's my new truck. There's a couple things done to it already. You can go back and check out those videos. But for this one, just a little hidden secret on here that might come in handy if you're carrying anything. And if you know, or if you don't know, the Pro 4X model only comes with a five foot bed. So this might come in handy more. So if you have this bed compared to the six foot bed, or longer, depending what truck you have, because this isn't specifically for the Frontier, but there are some trucks out there that still don't have this feature. And I opened up the tonneau cover just to give us some more light. And what that is, is when you pop the open the tailgate, another nice thing with this one, it has a little bit of a dampening feature to it. It won't just come slamming down. It is a little quick. You can get aftermarket stuff that'll slow it down if you're still thinking that's too quick. But from, fa from factory, it does come with the dampener on there. So you don't have to worry about it coming crashing down, wrecking your tailgate, wrecking the hinges and all that. But for this video, what we're going to look at is on the side here. You can see this is your little cable hooks onto your tailgate and the back of your bed. You got one on each side. And if you look a little closer, you can see it hooks up here. And then you also have another hinge or bolt right here and that is for when this comes up that's where it locks into but if you take a closer look at your little cable here on the end it has this little tab you can see maybe in the video that tab flexes and what's that what that's for is if we just lift this up a little bit to get the tension off you can see that actually moves so you get in here now I might need a screwdriver possibly for this. But there you go. You can see, managed to get with my fingers. You can take this off and actually hook it on the top. And now if you come and do that on both sides, so do the same thing in this one. Just get your finger in there, get that little flap to go on top of the bolt. Just push. You can see it's like a spring loaded thing. Come up, just do the opposite, push, slide down. You're now locked in there. So what that does is I know we're in the garage, it's a little bit hard to see, but now your tailgate is just slightly on a slope upwards. So you're sitting like this now. So if you have something in here, maybe you're sliding a sheet of plywood or two by fours, or I put side steps on mine. The side steps were a little bit longer than the box as well. And for me, I have the cover on here. So that was down. If you have it in here just flat, now I'm not saying use only this method. I do have my strap still, but strap your stuff down when it's in the bed, especially if you're open. But what this does is it just puts gravity on your side. You get a little bit of a slant in there. So everything is weighted you want to slide down into your truck so when you're driving and maybe you hit the gas too hard it's not going to come shooting out the back and hit the person who might be parked or driving behind you so you can put it in there and it just helps keep everything like i said sliding in towards the truck and it's super simple you can see it only takes like two seconds just pop that thing off put it on the top and you don't have to worry about the latch because the only reason you're going to have this up there is if you're carrying something in the bed. And then when you're done, got everything out of your truck, it's just as easy. Just put your leg on here. It's a super light tailgate. And same thing, get that little latch or little flap over, push up, she comes right off. Hook it back on the bottom, give it a yank. She goes back there. Same thing, come to the next side, slide it to the end. Flip the little tab over. Like I said, a couple seconds for each one. Your tailgate goes back down. Now you're good to close her up. Everything's out. Other thing is, if you have something long in there, like I said, 
bunch of wood or something, this goes down. Now it's easy to grab. Just yank it back out of your truck and everything stays safe. Now, if you don't have this in your truck, I do know a few other models have it. The F-150s for sure have it because I've used this actually on my friend's F-150 when we picked up a couple things. And I think if I remember right, it's either GMC or Chevy or both. They're actually coming out with a different type of deal. Same thing, just to lift the tailgate a little bit. But what they're doing is putting a little nub here. And basically what you do is you lift this up and that nub would go under the cable. And in turn, when it comes down and keeps pressure on there, you keep the tailgate up just as if we had it hooked up here. Only thing I would think with that is if you hit a bump or something possibly, yes, you have weight on here from whatever you're carrying, but if it's not super heavy and you hit a bump and this happens to just jolt, what stops that from popping off? I don't know. It's a brand new thing. I believe it's on the newer models. I haven't really looked into it that much, but I do remember seeing it. So I thought I'd mention it in the video. There you go, guys. Just a little hidden feature on your truck here. Maybe you knew, maybe you didn't know, and maybe it'll help you out in the future. Like I said, takes a couple seconds, pop them off, pop them on, you're good to go. And when you're all done, put it back, tailgate up, click her in place, and you're all set to go. So if you're carrying larger objects, you don't want it sitting straight up, flying out the top, you know, longer object, you're gonna be six plus feet in the air. You can drop that down, let gravity do its thing, help it stay in the bed of your truck, help you out with the longer objects. And maybe if you got a bigger truck, just something you'll use anyways in the future. So hopefully you guys like this video, like and subscribe, check out the older videos, and hopefully we catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.